Hi, my name is Jenna, and I'm a product manager at Stitch. Stitch is a cloud ETL service that replicates data from more than 70 applications and databases. If you're watching this video, you're thinking about analyzing your data in Looker. Smart move. Looker is a powerful business intelligence and data analytics platform. And to use it properly, you'll need to consolidate your data into a data warehouse that Looker can access. I'm going to show you how to consolidate data from multiple sources using Stitch and then build great looking dashboards in Looker. Let's say we'd like to evaluate how many new signups resulted from each of our ad campaigns. The ad data is in Facebook and our application and user data lives in MySQL. Some of our customers consolidate dozens of data sources for analysis in Looker, but for this video, we'll focus on just those two. First, go to stitchdata.com and create an account. Here, we'll connect Facebook. This is where we select the tables and objects we need to stream into the data warehouse. Now, let's set up MySQL. And again, here is where we select the tables we need for our analysis. Once you've connected a data source, the next step is to connect a data warehouse. Stitch supports sending data to Redshift, BigQuery, Snowflake, Postgres, and Panoply. You can also start with one warehouse today and migrate to a new one in the future using Stitch. If you don't have a warehouse yet, Panoply is a great option because you can create a new warehouse with one click from within Stitch. The Panoply warehouse is now automatically connected to Stitch. Input these credentials into Looker to connect it to your Panoply warehouse. On the integrations page in Stitch, we can see that data has started streaming into the warehouse. Let's check the logs. Here, we can see the details from the logs for the integration. It looks like the jobs are completing successfully. Any errors are detailed in the log output, and you can connect with our support team for help getting them resolved. Looker blocks are pre-built pieces of code that you can use to fast track your analytics. We created Looker blocks for Facebook and other popular Stitch data sources, which work right out of the box with the data Stitch produces. You can build on top of these blocks to customize your analysis and join in your internal data, like this application database. Now that Looker has access to our data, we can build that report and answer our question about ad campaigns. Using LookML, let's add our customer signup data from MySQL to the Stitch Looker block model. Now, let's take a look at signups by Facebook campaign. I'll explore our ads model and select the objects to include in my report. I'll do some filtering of non-relevant campaigns, and then I'll make a bar graph. Looks like there's only one campaign that's generating over 10 customer signups. As signups come through, we can see them populate here. Now we know where to invest more of our budget. This might serve as a jumping off point for additional analysis. And maybe we'd also like to connect other data sources like Zendesk, Salesforce, Stripe, or Jira to add additional context and dimensions. I hope this overview was helpful. If you have any questions, you can send us a note at sales at stitchdata.com. Thanks for watching.